Hi everyone, welcome to Wine Diaries. Guess what's for dinner tonight? Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you would consider hitting that little red subscribe button before you go. I'd love to have you come back and join me for future videos. Your comments, of course, are always welcome. I hope you give this video a thumbs up and it's Wine Diaries. These are getting to be my favorite videos to do for you guys. I think because it's, I'm, I'm sitting here talking to you and just having a conversation and just getting to know you guys and it's just a lot of fun. Plus I get to eat and drink. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Just being able to eat and drink. Yeah, it's fun. So anyway, I just finished out uh, doing my wink wine, uh, bottle number three and so I thought I'd do kind of like what I did last week except I don't have a dessert this week so I'm going to use the wine that I had for my dinner uh, that I opened for a week I'm going to have that with my dinner and then I'm going to have another wine to have with my first course so today is a nice rainy day we've got no sun it's about 58 right now so it's been right around 53 58 I think 58 was the high today but it's just kind of that kind of cold damp feeling and so I just was kind of in the mood for soup. So I thought, looking through my cabin, I said, I've got to have some soup in there or something. So I was thinking I had chili, but I don't have any canned chili. I thought I might have some that I bought for nachos, but I had some clam chowder. I love New England clam chowder. This one's just progresso. It's just a, a mix here. And it's nice, thick, and rich, and creamy. I love clam chowder. We used to go clamming. When we went camping on Sandy Neck Beach all the time and when we lived in Massachusetts and we'd get the razor clams and the little neck clams and we'd soak them in like a pail with some water and some cornmeal to kind of clean out the sand that's something not so gritty and then we'd make a nice chowder with it whether we did the cream one like this or sometimes I would do like the Manhattan with lots of chunks of bacon and that's good too the red one so yeah either way I'm good but when it's nice and cold and the kind of damp, the creamy one just hits. So then I was thinking, what kind of wine goes with clam chowder? And I thought, well, why not a Chardonnay, right? Chardonnay's usually got a nice body. It's not going to overpower it. It's usually got a nice flavor, a nice texture to it. And I thought that would be perfect for the clam chowder. And I thought, well, you know, I don't want to open another big bottle. But, you know, I got this in May and I haven't opened any of these uh, little wine ones from my Sip and Saver from my May delivery. So I thought I would give this one a try. So, of course, this was the spring one. So they had different flowers on them. So this is a California Chardonnay. And I just thought this should go perfect with it. Of course, if I was having company over or something and I was serving a big pot of this, then, you know, I would open, you know, a, a big bottle. But anyway, Chardonnay is usually a nice kind of a heavier texture. It's not as light as some of the summer wines like a Sauvignon Blanc or something like that. So it should have a nice texture so it can kind of go with a nice creamy one. Got a nice kind of pale yellow straw color. Cheers everyone. It smells good. Cheers. Mm. It is. It has a nice texture. I have no idea how you get textured wine. But it's got a creamy, kind of a buttery, kind of creamy texture. It's got like flavors of oak, maybe some vanilla, maybe some lemon, some citrus or something in there. It's just good. It's got a nice body. It can hold its own. I'm running out of space here. So with my chowder, I think it can hold its own. Nice creamy texture. And nice. So nice creamy clam chowder for a cool day and so for dinner I got another one of these well it's the first time I bought this kind but I've had these four brothers before and I got like the pulled pork I've had pulled chicken from them so this one it's an apple bourbon marinade and it's a beef tip roast so it's uh, like one and a quarter pound so I should get a few meals out of that so I just put this in the oven 
for about 15 minutes at 375 I think 15 minutes I flipped it over did for another 15 minutes took it out it's been sitting for about five minutes all the juices kind of came out of it and soaked in so it's gonna be good and then I finished up these baby potatoes so these took about four meals for me to finally finish this one so these it was just in the frozen section it's Alexia they're roasted and ready. They're baby heirloom potatoes. They had like a steak seasoning on them. Um, you can do them in the microwave. You can do it in a conventional oven. I just popped them in my air fryer for about 15 minutes. So when I flip that over, I put those in the air fryer. And then when it came out, I just kind of had melted some butter and just kind of rolled them around in the butter. So those are what my potatoes look like. And for my... I, I do not do a good job at carving. I was never allowed to carve because I don't do well. As you can see, I kind of cut it one way, then I cut it another way. But it still gets nice and rare, but it's kind of mellowed down on the outer edges. Got to get a few meals out of this. And then I just cut a few slices here. And just in case, I put some horseradish off the side because, you know, Nancy loves her horseradish. I don't even know I like horseradish, but, but I do. And I'm um, going to have it with the wine, the wink wine that I just opened, which you won't see for a couple of weeks probably. And so this uh, was a wine from Spain, Spartico. It's a red blend. It was 50% Cabernet Sauvignon and 50% Tempranillo. It's a nice flavor. It had like chocolate and blueberry and like a cinnamon, maybe a clove and just... It was nice. It was dry. It was 14.5% alcohol. It's got a nice texture to it, a nice flavor. It's got the, um, the tannins um, the, from being aged in oak barrels. It was just perfect. I think this would be perfect as well if I was just going to sit and have some snacks or something after a nice charcuterie board, some cheese and crackers. So anyway, this is the wine for my dinner. So cheers. Mm. And it's warmed up a little bit since I did the wink one first, so its flavor's even coming out a little bit better. So that's going to be my dinner, and let's take a bite of my four brothers beef tip try tip roast that was marinated with an apple bourbon. So I just got a little piece here, one of the edges. I like the edges. So anyway, cheers. Mm hmm. That is good. And I cut one of my potatoes. Mm. Mm, that's a nice dinner. And if I had a loaf of bread, even if it was like one of those Pillsbury fresh rolls or something, just having the chowder with a Chardonnay and some fresh bread would be a perfect dinner too. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending some time with me. You guys know it means so much to me and I appreciate you all so much. I hope everyone goes out, has a great weekend, have lots of fun, take care everyone, stay safe, be kind, be happy, enjoy life, have some fun. Love you guys. We'll see you in the next video.